Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill here with yet another episode. All right. Unbelievably, we have scoured the entire Milky Way galaxy and we have gotten all of the star clusters at 100%. Okay, so what this means at this 100 100 100 what this means we did discover a few anomalies and we're going to investigate those but as you can see everything has been completely mined completely explored all right we are headed to the calston rift as you can see we have two anomalies for the price of one Okay, let's see. I guess we're going to head to Solvig. It's funny how the two anomalies are right next to each other. All right, so here we are. We've arrived in the Solvig cluster. And we've got several planets here. The planet Thrivaldi. And I like how these labels overlap. But we have the planet Surtur. If anybody is familiar with your Norse mythology, Surtur, the fire demon. And we also have Sinmara, and that is the source of our, is it? No, I think, I can't tell the way these are overlapping. Well, we'll, we'll find out. It's either Surtur or Sinmara. I don't think it's Surtur. Not getting any response from Edie. I have detected there it is. It's Samara. Sin Mara. All right, Surtur's moon. Okay, of course. Surtur's moon, Sin Mara, has been used for many generations to monitor its parent star, Solvig. It has no atmosphere to interfere with solar observational equipment, which is critical at this juncture. The star recently showed signs of erupting prematurely into a red giant. In preparation for the day when the critical warning goes out, the extranet channel from Sin Mara's research station is given top priority throughout the top, throughout the calm buoys in the system. The chances of such a signal being received over the sun's magnetic interference at that time is low, but relegating it to a lower channel proved politically untenable. All right, let's go ahead and scan. shielding failure. All right, we've got an anomaly. Planetary scans indicate that the Sinmara colony is vulnerable to its sun's hazardous solar flares. Malfunction detected in the colony's magnetic shield. Shield must be reactivated to avoid exposing colony to unstable solar activity and potential annihilation. Let's get our landing party together. I'm sure most of you are chilled by this discovery, as am I. It's amazing what can happen out in space. Oh, what? I don't get a landing party? This is just a, this is a solo shepherd mission. Act 
activate magnetic shield. It looks like this should be an easy assignment. Alright, let's get our Matok out. I mean, there's all these explosive barrels and stuff here. What's going on? Uh-oh. Go ahead and figure out this puzzle. this just come up like this these these controls what's this is this another puzzle oh it is I've got to figure out what switches Wow so the power would need to flow okay this one is dead that one is dead there's power flowing to this one I don't know what we need to do though Generator overheating. Cooling unit. Alright, so this is the cooling unit. So, let's see. Alright, so... Shield cannot be activated because the generator is offline. Is this the generator? Okay, so... The generator is online, and what is this going to tell me? It's overheating. Alright. And if I switch to the cooling... Do we have to, like, do this, like, in rapid succession? Generator is working at full capacity. All right. Looks like we're making some progress here. the magnetic shield keep, keep, keeping Senmara's colony safe from catastrophic solar activity. Credit reward transferred from Senmara colonist. Alright, 125 experience. 7,500 credits. And that's it. Well, I think we should keep going to the next um, anomaly. I thought about doing each one in a separate episode, but I don't know. I'll, I'll, this this uh, Let's Play will just be, be extended out much longer than it needs to be. So let's go ahead. We're going to... Talaba. Alright, so here we are 
In the Talava Cluster, we have the planet Ataris, the planet Matrum, the planet Cautious, and the planet Tatus, and that's where our anomaly is. I have detected an anomaly. All right. So, Tatus is a desert of whitish potassium salts and reddish iron oxides. Tatus is far enough away from its parent star to have a tolerable surface temperature, though it has only a trace atmosphere of carbon dioxide and oxygen. It is still hospitable enough for criminals in the Terminus system to use it as a staging base. Turian patrols sometimes fly through the area looking to preempt jailbreak attempts on Matrum's prisons. Travel advisory. Unregistered starships have been spotted in the vicinity of Tatus. Civilian travel is not recommended. Beginning scale. There's a piece of crap back on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Welcome to it. Repeat. There's a piece of crap back on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Welcome to it. Repeat. There's a piece of crap back on this planet's surface. If you think you can get it to work, you're freaking welcome to it. Right, welcome to let's it. Let's go. Repeat. There's a piece of crap back on this planet's surface. I have found something. All right, surface scans detect one Yimmer heavy mech signature matching, I'm sorry, Emir heavy mech signature matching an unknown, possibly pirate registration. Mech appears to be disabled, but broadcasting a looping message. Message does not appear to be a distress signal. Resource scans indicate a large quantities of mineral resources available, but obscured behind walls of dense stone. Right, here we go. I think we should be able to take a landing party with us this time. And we're just going to go with our Cerberus crew. cells and a data pad. I paid Harrett good money for this useless heap of signal error error detected serious caches of resources here on this planet but memory leak detected. All right, I said, sure, the thing leaks fuel like a volus after a, mu a mug of Ren call, but I can deal with that. So I took off and laid out a trail of power cells leading from where I unloaded the mech to bad package, please restart, so that I could at least get the thing moving. And now, illegal fault detected, won't even move. Damn, that swindling L-Core. Alright. Piece <laughs> of signal error. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can't hack this. Insert power cell. How many power cells do I have? And I do 
do have to say this is one of the less inspired uh, side missions in Mass Effect 2. But it looks like um, I'm going for a 100% playthrough. I don't know if I'll get a, a trophy, but uh, we'll see. Alright, here's some more power cells because I'm sure he's going to run out. Cell, there is no more. All right, let's look. Fan out. Uh oh, we've got people down here. All right, let's go ahead with the uh, squad incendiary ammo. Enemies. Singularity out. All right, Miranda. Unstable war. Is that it? Are there more? Uh oh, there is another one. Going up a barrier. How about slam? On the floor. Whoops. Jacob, I would have preferred that you use pull rather than throw up a barrier, but that's okay, it's dead. Power remaining. Alright, we got more power cells. So far, a very relaxing, stress-free mission. off too far I think it'll stop but we do need to look over here yeah here's some power cells yeah so it's best not to rush ahead here you go these resources were really uh, worthwhile. Let's see, what did we get? Oh! 5,000 palladium? Okay. Alright. Okay, so we recovered a buried cat of resources, the Emir mech was unsalvageable. All right, we got 125 experience. We got 7,500 credits. We got 5,000.
thousand platinum and we're headed back to the Normandy Also wanted to mention I'll just rush up here to my cabin that the fish died. That's right, people, they're dead. So yeah, I really messed up this playthrough. Didn't flirt with Kelly. She never offered to feed the fish. They keep dying. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I just shouldn't have any. Because I keep trying to come back here, you know, like every couple of missions or so, but mm -mm. didn't help. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and end this episode, but before we do, let's just take a look here. Let's see what we have ahead of us. Alright, so we have completed the Calston Rift. See everything at 100%. Everything is just 100% across the board. And we should only have a few more anomalies to investigate. So it looks like we have one in the Hourglass Nebula and one in the Crescent Nebula. Alright, so that's where we are, people. We only have two more side missions left. All right, and we will continue with those in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.